Welcome to the special Earl Asks Anything. And in tonight's show, I had the opportunity to interview a good friend of mine uh, from LA who happened to be in Fort Lauderdale with his band Tiger Army, Mike Pisano. Um, joining us for this interview time was J.R. Kurtz, who was the drummer in one of the opening acts. Uh, I forget, Kate, somebody or other. J.R., you understand that I don't remember names really well, but I remembered yours. He did a great job being one of the opening acts for the night. Um, great guy, a lot of fun. Um, this interview was very impromptu. It was at the Culture Room in Fort Lauderdale. I called it the Culture Club at one point. There's a lot of little faux pas in, in, in the uh, interview because it was very late. It was probably like 11.30 at night. We're in the parking lot. Um, but it was, it was just kind of a fun time. It was a great show with Mike. Um, these are Mike's uh, Vic Firth. And these are the uh, the 55 A's. Mike likes to play a 17 inch long Vic Firth uh, 55 A stick called Freestyle. Very cool. Um, and I have a bunch of other little blessings from the night. Uh, that being one of them. So all I can tell you is this is a great interview. Now I apologize ahead of time for some coarse language. I'm gonna try to do a little interesting bleeps in it. I don't know if they're gonna work. If they don't, Listen, if you're young and you're one of the parents to watch, please realize that that just makes this, you know, this might be one of those ones you want to just wait for one of my covers or something. But if you can handle the slight course language once in a while, these guys are rockers. Um, enjoy the interview. Enjoy the fun time I had hanging out with Mike Pisano and J.R. Kurtz. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> Listen, you're, you're gonna appreciate being in this because when you dive into his shit, you're, yeah. you're gonna be stoked. You're gonna be stoked because you're old school. Are you, are you recording? So I am. Yeah. That's good. All right, all right. <laughs> all right we're done. All right. Here we are at the culture are. room. Here we go. Welcome to Earl Asks Anything instead of Ask Earl Anything today. Okay. And this is my second guest on Earl Ask Anything, Mike Pisano. Hey, what's up? With JR and your last name, Kurtz. K-R-T-Z. K-R-T-Z. Rhymes with Hertz. Rhymes with Hertz. He puts a Hertz on the drum. Hertz. Hertz. So these guys are playing um, in Fort Lauderdale tonight. We're at the uh, Culture Club. And uh, Mike just played a great set. And JR just played a nice set. And I am got to hang with him tonight. Yeah. And I've had a great time. You got to sound check for me. A little line check for me, which is fun. Right. And I, hopefully I have that video from my friend Ken, who's behind the camera yes. tonight. What's up, Ken? Ken. Wait, hang on a oh, second. Man. Sorry, I'm gonna just go off topic for a second. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. You don't okay. even know how stoked I am to be hanging with this guy. <laughs> no, it's great. When I'm you dive honored. into his stuff, it's gonna be amazing. Anyway. So, I'm JR. Young blood. 
tell us a little bit about your band and what you've been doing. And you're from LA, right? And yeah. I grew up. Uh, I grew up just outside of LA from the Miami Desert, but I live in LA now. Okay. And uh, I met Kate pretty short before the tour began. We've been playing together probably for a few weeks now. But yeah, we're just like a, a band formed. She had uh, members come in to play for this tour, and it's a straight up punk rock tour. Um, very old school, traditional punk rock, rock and roll vibe. Um, I love playing with her. She's got a great vibe. Um, the band is, is doing very well, I think, finally. Do you know, she's, she's like a modern day Chrissy Hine to me in That's a cool. way. Yeah. And she's she's stunning, the punk rock, classic, great song, strong, great band around her. You, you're you kind of subbing in on this gig and you're in. He told yeah. me, he did a couple of rehearsals and, and I'm on this tour. And I saw him like the first That's night, the second it, night dude. before we really started hanging. It says a lot like, right there. Dude, he was just throwing down and swinging yeah. it. It was like, great. It just keeps getting better and better. And I'm getting to see more and more. I don't get to see a lot of the opening acts because I'm, uh, you know, doing my ritual of trying to do warm-ups and stuff. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Well, you, you're, you're the headline. Uh, you've inspired well, me to warm up because I wasn't warming up. And I think that was like a huge downfall in the beginning. Because I don't know, it, 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 when, you, when, you, when you don't rehearse very much and you go play shows and you're like, oh. It's so different than when you're in a rehearsal room. Right. You know? Oh, it's yeah. a different intensity. <laughs> totally Everything's changed. up. I mean, you're not doing yeah. the moves. And he's got some, some cool kind of stage moves. Not like Tommy Lee or anything like that. Which, there's well. nothing wrong with Tommy <laughs> Lee. I love Tommy Lee. <laughs> but you're friends with Tommy Lee, right? Yeah, well, I love the video. <laughs> okay, I love the video. <laughs> there you go. But uh, hashtag Tommy Lee. Maybe he'll see this. Maybe, yeah, he'll, be he'll, maybe he'll be a third guest. Yeah. Fourth guest. I doubt Anyways. that. No, no, no. Uh, but uh, but no, it's well. Thanks for saying that. But I never warmed up, and I used to always have problems with my hands, like here, uh, just from gripping the stick. Yeah, yeah. And then I just started doing like twenty minutes, and then twenty minutes turned into an hour and a half. And, and it's just you just sit around. And you, you mostly sit there doing parody. Yeah, you just and you just get your hands going, and you stretch and, and whatever. It's important. But I'm glad you do it because it's it's super important. If you do it younger, because you're younger. Uh, Youngish. Well, younger than me. Yeah, uh, not by much. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, just for men. I don't know. Let's just, Hi, I'm like, sorry. Just, right just for men. Uh, anyways, uh, Thank but you. no, no, yeah. it's killer. No, and they're great. He throws it down and it swings, and she's great. And the band's great. She sings, she she sings hard. Yeah, no, I got the she's she's a, it's, it's a great. My favorite thing to play in a, when you play in a band with a singer who sings loud and strong. It's like you. You don't have to worry about playing so much, you know, especially in punk rock. All right, that's awesome. Um, it's four but, Lauderdale, yeah, man. That's I mean, where it goes. Do you know what my wife would say? Why? Sorry about your. <laughs> All right, I got the two more bleeps. Okay, <laughs> this, this whole little segment just got axed. Oh, just no, so it's not. All right, you can, you can All right I'll, work, I'll work around. I'll work around. Don't worry about it. Oh. So. I just want to finish up with JR. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. But JR, her. give us a plug for his. You got any endorsements? Anything you're doing? Um, drum wise? Yeah, and I, guys you want to talk about? Because this, I'm a big equipment guy. Yeah, totally. Um, so I just, um, I've been with the same people for a long time. I've been playing with Promark and Sabian, and I've been with CNC since, uh, I should probably say Sabian cymbals, CNC drums, and Promark sticks. Uh, Cool. Yeah, since 2011, and they've always had my back, and I've never, anytime I've ever had an issue with anything, they've always been like, oh, cool, let's figure out something else for you, and let's make this right, and uh, because of that, it's just been, it's been great, I've always felt. Really so what Sabian symbols do you play? I, I played Sabian for years. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I... Tell me about the to ride you talked to me about oh, today. Yeah. Uh, so I, before this tour, I actually went and bought new symbols because I... I was touring for a long time using the, just the HH just right. line, like Ann Hammer and HHX. And I'm like, it's not really good for punk rock. You know, the ride right. cut, sure. you know, for that stuff. But so I I went to Sabian and I was talking to uh, Christian, who's my who's my homie over there. Um, and I wanted to try the bash ride, but they didn't really have one in the, the diameter that I wanted. Okay. And uh, I, so he offered me this medium crash 22 inch symbol. It's really bizarre because I'm like, oh, I never played a crash that that big. But yeah. for a ride and for like multi-purpose stuff, it's really good. That's and it's cool. heavy. It's, it's so a, is it's it AA or AA? Yeah, AA yeah. just medium crash symbol, and it's 
feels weird. <laughs> but but it works. Yeah. It works for yeah, this. It sounds, I think it's great. Well, if you're yeah. doing that crash ride thing, I can see that really. Yeah, yeah. but there's ping and there's bell and all that stuff. It's heavy, too. You it's can't, so heavy. Don't get yeah. hung up on it being a crash or a ride or a, no, definitely or, or a blah, blah, blah. Anything Zildjian, because that's what I play. The, the probe line, it's, it's, an, it's an 18. It's a 19. It's not I, a yeah. ride or a crash. It's whatever the F you want it to be. Right. right. I, I, I'm, I'm big on that. You know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The giant beats are multi. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Giant beats, the 2000, uh, 2002 big beats are the same thing. Multis and my curbs are the same thing. Yeah. So I'm yeah. really big on yeah. both, on doing it all. If it works, it works. Yeah. And it's how you stick it. It's how you uh, tip it. It's how you bell it. It's how you, whatever, you know. Um, Definitely. So. so let's talk about Mike. <laughs> now, Mike plays for Tiger Arm. I'm, well, I, I decided I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm Mike brought me down here, okay? But Mike and I connected through Ask Girl Anything <laughs> a couple years ago. He started writing comments on, you know, not the drum community comments, but he was just a guy who called me out one day on some of my ticks, and I started referencing him in all my shows. <laughs> it's like every time I go, that, Mike's going to call me on that one, yeah. you know? So I, I, I developed a, a cool relationship with Mike, and he brought me down the show today, and he gave me a lot of cool stuff, too, which I'll show you in another point oh, in yeah. time. Definitely. But Mike He's plays with Tiger fan. Army, plays with Tiger Army, and he's played with a lot of other people. You, you're Warren's seventh and ninth drummer, right? And eleventh. And the eleventh. I was drummer. slotted to be the thirteenth, but okay. it never happened. I was still waiting, and then I gave seventh, up. Seventh, ninth, and eleventh drummer, okay. Warren's drummer. Okay, he's tech for all kinds of people, like. Trey Cool. Yeah, Mick Fleetwood. Mick Fleetwood. Um, Elon Rubin, he plays in Nine, Nine Snails. He's a great drummer. And yeah. uh, kind of everybody in between. That's kind of my day gig. And I love my day gig, but I also have I've, I've always played. And if I was a good tech, it was only because I played. And I understood music. And I understood if uh, somebody was crashing on a too thick ride. Well, let's get a ride like what you have where you can crash on it and get a little tip on it. Right. Whatever. So, I mean, I just had a little bit of knowledge and... So you're it's like all the, the obvious stuff. to the stars, yeah, dude. You've got it. some album credits that are amazing. Well, that's, awesome. that's just, yeah. You know, no, it's been in the right place. doing something uh, for somebody, and that's all. I, I, it's not about me. It's about them. I'm just there to help. Yeah, but humbly. That's how, I, that's how I met Mike, because Mike is a gear guy. I'm a gear guy. Everybody knows I'm a gear guy. You're Ask Girl Anything. Seriously, I was searching for something about like, what's the best ride symbol or whatever that show you had was. Oh, yeah. And I, and I watched it. It was like 15 minutes and it was like, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. It, 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 validated, yeah, right? it validated everything that I was yeah. thinking about something because your knowledge is deep with 35 years of modern drummer, or what's the number on it? 40 something. 40 now, something years of modern drummer. It's, he's it's really out, of, out of control now. So he really is. Yeah. But no, yeah. no, but he really knows, and that's what's really cool. My wife used to write for the magazine. That's the other Mrs. thing. Mrs. Hammer. Mrs. Hammer. Earl Bahammer. Yeah, Mrs. Hammer. That's the whole life. thing. I'll, I'll send you that yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. Like why he got. a couple tour blogs from our modern drummer. And then they were, uh, the drummers would submit just a tour blog, and it would be like stuff web based. Yeah. Oh, they put it on the web. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. People did abstract like tour diaries or like yeah. they got really into their setup it was interesting to see what they well back in the early days of md when the first they first came out they were just this little magazine mm -hmm. they were trying they were trying to be the guitar player for the drum world and then it took off oh yeah and my wife married a drummer and she said well you're all passionate about drums i gotta learn drums so she was a writer she wrote for local newspapers she, she queried modern drummer and ended up getting some articles there and off she went, you know, for about 87 to about 97, she was writing for the magazine pretty, pretty much yeah, every, every couple times a year she was in the magazine, did features and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, and so it was fun. And I got to meet cool people like yeah. John Riley yeah. or, um, what's his name, um, Amy Grant's drummer, she interviewed him. And I'm, gosh, I can't Don't worry, it. we just put it in. Uh, I'll have to cut this bad boy <laughs> out. No, no, you can pop it in. <laughs> and I will you know, not I pop it in. He's, he's actually a cool player. I can't yes, believe it. Right. I'm just dropping. It's too late. Hang on a second. Amy Grant. He is Amy Grant. Hang on a second. Really quick. Wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, it was, sorry, um, he's, he's, a, he's a real Nashville okay. guy, too. He's a real... Okay, let's, let me, let, let's forget Who? this drummer guy. Amy Grant. Didn't she cross over and, like, forget the cross? No, she did cross over, though. She, she never crossed over? Okay. 
I'm wait, not wait, one wait, of, you wait, know wait. I'm not one of those guys. Okay? No, I know. I'm just trying to be <laughs> no. funny. Right now. You can cut this whole out. But didn't she like leave her husband for like Vince Gill and didn't he leave his wife for her? That's like weird. Uh, no, that, yeah, that, that, that did happen. Okay. But it's all into you know, just it definitely it. happened. Girl. You know what I do yeah. is Phil I Phil Lean. What? Phil Lean. No. Oh, he's that a session wasn't guy. Phil he's great. No, it wasn't uh. Phil Lime. It was the other guy who plays with um Matt Chamberlain. No, no that wasn't Matt Chamberlain. Joe plays with Joe Bonamassa. Sometimes he's played on a couple of his things, and I cannot believe I am Greg Morrow. Okay. Greg Morrow is cool. the guy's name. He's a, he's a heavy duty uh, Nashville dude. Anyhow. He's, well, anyways, he's, well, he's a nice guy. Well, I, I bet I'm not a nice guy. I'm no, talking about Amy and Vince. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm going to have to cut all that crap out anyhow. So. First of all, we've done some we've done some uh, video chats together, oh, yeah, chatting, yeah. And, and you know where I go with stuff. Oh, I know. But we can never put it on the world. Yeah, we're right. not going to put that on the world wide web. Wait, cool. I, I'm streaming this live. Did you, oh, you not want me to? I know you're not. Good. Yeah, I know you should always be live. I've got to do that. Real deal. Facebook so, anyway, live. Yep. So, tell us about your drum kit for this tour. That came from a buddy too. Yes. Oh well, um, I recently switched. Uh, in switched, switched. Uh, we've always played them. Well, I've had them for yeah, studio right. stuff, but um, I played pork pie drums for 28 years and uh, officially, officially, and 28 years is a long time. And uh, you know, there was stuff going on with Nick, our singer, who's a Gretsch guitar artist, and he has a signature guitar out. And I knew, I heard, you know. I knew this thing was happening with the guitars and, you know, we, we got to talking and, and he was like, I'd really, you know, I think it'd be really great if you played Gretsch drums and we can do this whole Gretsch thing. And I thought, well, you know, that's great. I said, they're not going to do anything with me. Right. But I said, the guys at Pro Drum Shop in Hollywood or Matt Sorum said he, he could get me a kid at Artist Pricing and this and that and whatever. Make a long story short, I talked to my friend Alex Gonzalez, great drummer from the rock band Mana. They're, they're from Mexico yeah. and they're they're massive. And they they're, they've got the world record at uh, Staples Center, sold out seven shows, wow. or the Forum. They're playing them now, and it's crazy. And they don't sing a lick in English. So Alex knew the artist relations guy because he was a Peisty artist relations guy, Andrew right. Shreve. Yeah. Andrew Shreve, yeah. and uh, so I'm going to call Andrew and. Uh, called Andrew and Andrew said have Mike call me and Andrew was just like said I know what Tiger Army is to the yeah. Gretsch brand this is what we can do we can sell you drums we can uh, we can uh, you gotta go because your tour bus is leaving I'm, I'm, I'm in the your opening, jet I'm in the opening leaving. band because your, your <laughs> helicopter your, your jet is leaving Earl, it's such a pleasure to meet you man yeah. thank, thank you so much Earl. see you brother thanks yeah, for the Earl, beer man for, for yeah. meeting you and dude yeah. you know, always. see you, I'll see you wherever. tomorrow bye <laughs> and early see you wherever that's gonna get to see you anyways you're good See ya. Safe you. travels. You Bye. So Thanks. Uh, but anyway, so Alex called him and, and Andrew called. I called Andrew and Andrew says I know the value of Tiger Army to the Gretsch brand. Yeah. Um, you know, you know all of the rockabilly, psychabilly, blah 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 guys play the Gretsch guitars, yeah. but the only drummer we really have officially is is Slim Jim. And yeah. You guys are. You guys are on that thing, and I was, I was like, okay, cool. So, and he basically just said, hey, this is what I can do if you're an artist. This is what I can do if you're just a friend of Gretsch. And the thing about being an artist is, um, you get all the support overseas and all that stuff, and that's what we need because we go all over the place. And to the save the line rental line and all that stuff, and the drums are great. And you know, to be honest with you, Pork Pie's an amazing company, and, and Bill's a great old friend. And and it was very hard for me to make this this move, but they were so like this is what we want to do for you with you yeah. if you sign up and it's just like it's a business it, it didn't come down to business and the reality is is like you're playing on a now you just go to the level of playing for the los angeles dodgers now yeah. it's this established old company and i play and, and where and and you were very <laughs> no seriously man you're i told you this from early on yeah. before you even kind of knew me how great your snare drum stuff was uh, and the drums now and, and then i asked you about how you were recording them because i yeah. do a little bit of that you know in the studio yeah. with people but uh no it's just it's cool and uh and it's it's the drums are great they're the right thing for this band this is the band i'm in i love this band i want to sound the best for this band all the way down to scaling down my drumsticks scaling down my cymbals brighter cymbals tighter drums right you know, it's, right and it's sound. really important you know what i mean it's like i love steve gad but his sticks don't work for me his drums don't work for me blah, blah, blah. 
you find the things that work and you're great at that because yeah. you're always finding things that work and, and you help if people watch you and get you it's super helpful there's so much bs on the fit on the on the on the forums and the instagrams of people like oh you can't play big first because they break or you can't play pro mark or you have to play pro mark because they don't break or whatever it's just it's not it sticks break you know what i mean yeah, yeah. you gotta find stuff that works for you it works for your size of your body exactly. your hands or this and that and you're really great because you have no bias to anything even though you do say hey vader i'd love some sticks if you're me. <laughs> vader, but, uh, you're right. but Someday. it's kind of funny but uh it's funny you know but uh it's cool anyways i'll stop that. but no that's that's good two minutes left that's right you think so okay for me anyway all right <laughs> ken's about ready to, to wrap this bad boy up uh, so the kit up. you're playing i say uh, oh okay sorry the kit i'm playing sorry so i ordered my drums in four months uh i ordered them like six months ago uh, and it, they take about four months. The USA Maple Custom Piano Black. I wasn't, a, they didn't make it to me in time. There was a hurricane that went right. through yep. recently and it puts stuff back and, and it, stuff, I said, don't rush anything. Don't send anything to me on the road because I don't want to have the drums I'm using and then have this other stuff flying around right. in, the, in, in the trailer. But uh, my friend, Matt Sorum, who is like a big brother to me, we were roommates back in the day. He's the guy who I helped in the studio on Guns N' Roses records and it started my career working in studios and having the, the drum rental business. Um, Matt loaned me his Gretsch Broadcaster uh, Cadillac Green Kit for this tour. I was gonna borrow it on a t on one of these runs in a year anyways just to change the color up for a month. I was gonna, was gonna yeah. borrow it, but I borrowed it earlier because my drums and aren't it here. And it looked beautiful. And, and it's that... fun to play and it sounds killer. Right. And, and he had that like, cool head on the front. Yeah, Remo hooked it up, and and uh, I play Remo uh, drum heads. I play Big for Six, Diligent Symbols, um, now Gretsch drums, which is it's an honor to play. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> you should go. You should do a crash instead of a beat. <laughs> Two hooks. Anyhow, we are going to do another sure. Earl yeah. ass anything. We're going to do one Skype. Well, yeah. man, I'm going to get that stuff together. Okay, yeah. I promise. Yeah, okay. uh, that's my thing. But to you're do here, that. man. We're doing it. I know. We're doing this. We're having fun. This is going to be part one of Mike Fasano with Tiger Army. I'm actually going to be just like a uh, guest host, like a regular. It's like hanging with the Mike Fasano on Ask Earl. Okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> no, for you, it's. <laughs> You were kicking that, man. Uh, that was kicking. Thanks. I got some videotape of this. Right. I'm going to put that on there, okay. too. So you, we're going to have a little mic on right. the video. Thank you, Ken, for being... Thanks, Ken. Doing the, the thanks camera. Thanks for having me, Earl. Oh. I love you, man. Love thanks for thanks for being a friend and, 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 oh, and an you. inspiration and uh, just uh, like an encyclopedia that, that <laughs> you don't have to Google. Like a human Google. You're the human drum Google. Thank you. I, I don't... All right. Better than Google. Thank you. Thanks guys. All right, see ya. Peace. See you.